Fields. I have Holly right over there. I have Flynn and Richard. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. Good. How's it going? Good. I am so excited to share with everyone here the review, the results of the Brick or Treat Build Challenge that has been uh, people have been preparing for here on Boone Builds for a few weeks, uh, and and this is the night. I've 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 called you all here because Holly, Flynn, Richard, I you're all incredible Lego builders, and I sort of I consider you some of my friends who are experts in the spooky. Is that, oh. can I, <laughs> is that fair? I think that's more than fair. I love to be <laughs> thought of when people think of spooky. Yes, yeah, same here. So I'm yeah. not insulted. Okay, good. I, Holly, I I didn't know if you were into spooky stuff, if it was like just part of your job or if it was like personal interest until I saw your posts about your Halloween decorations this year. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, yes, they, she must really be into it. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, we're going to dive into the live chat and then take a look at these entries as soon as we get back here. It's Boone Builds. All right, Holly, Flynn, Richard, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I appreciate your help. I couldn't do this one by myself. We've got Legomatic, Remy Baker, Brett Hooper, Robert Z, Wex Bricks, Insane Lego Fan, Brickanista is here tonight. Woot! EBF Bricks, uh, Caden G, Marvel Kid, Isaiah A, Moto is here. Thank you all so much for being here with us. Um, so, uh, Tell us a little bit about what you got going on. I want to hear from Holly and Flynn and Richard. Just give us a little snippet of what is this Halloween season looking like for you, Holly? Um, I think we're probably overcompensating a little just because <laughs> <laughs> just because it's such an unusual year and I don't anticipate, you know, the usual like uh, trick or treating, and and so I didn't really get into like costume making for this year, but we, but we're going a little overboard with all the other traditions, the decorating and uh, watching. You know, we have like a whole list of movies we're trying to get through this month. Um, so just just trying to have as much fun as we can with it. Awesome, sounds good. Love it, Flynn, Richard. Well, well we're in. We got a little bit of stuff um, hanging up. We did a. Um, a Halloween costume sort of cavalcade on our uh, show on Sunday. And we all, uh, Holly and Moto and myself and Cara and Richard all came in costume and people sent in their costumes, like their favorite past costumes. And we did a whole slideshow of those. Um, that was super fun. So that was kind of like our unofficial Halloween party type of thing. Also moving forward, so we have a, a we have a full-size lab skeleton. It's plastic, but it looks totally real. Oh yeah. Um, we call him Bonaby. So oh, yeah. I think on Halloween night I'm going to put Bonaby in the front window <laughs> and we'll light it all spooky and even whether no trick or treaters come or anything they won't. Um, they they'll see. Do. They'll see spookiness uh, every year. No trick or treaters come. So but we don't buy the candy. Yeah, we have candy, <laughs> and we're gonna make a jack o' lantern. Yeah, this is our first uh, Halloween in a new neighborhood, and it's a it's a relatively sleepy neighborhood. So I feel like we kind of shook things up a bit <laughs> over here. <laughs> We've got skeletons. Like we, the nice thing is, is people can see our front yard and our backyard because we have like uh, walking paths behind us. So we put the skeletons out at the at the table on our deck. You know, and decorated the back of it as well. Yay! What so fun! Awesome. Neighbors seem to like it actually a lot, especially the little kids. They love it. They come, they stop by, and have to point at everything. It's a good time. <laughs> it's my favorite holiday. Me too. Yeah. Awesome! I love it. It has always been my favorite holiday. When I was a kid, I used to really, really love um, doing making costumes. Right mm -hmm. uh, from the very small. I don't remember. I, I do think that I bought a Peter Venkman like plastic weird costume, um, <laughs> you know, in the in the probably like 1987. Uh, but that's the last that's the last costume I can remember uh, buying from the store. And, and even then, I had like the plastic, you know, the plastic jumpsuit and the plastic like Peter Venkman face. But we built my proton pack out of you know cardboard and styrofoam and 
and in other crap. So um, I'm curious, the the costume, the plastic costume with the plastic mask. Yeah. Were are you in the generation where they um, actually like made an attempt to make it look like his costume, or were you like in our generation where? They would put whatever it was you were being on the front of it, oh, so, oh, like on a lunchbox. You could be Fred Flintstone, and you'd have a Fred Flintstone, and, and your outfit wouldn't be orange with little black things on it and a tie. It would be a picture of Fred Flintstone that said Fred Flintstone. <laughs> yeah, Just, yeah. No, there was no mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I was, I did get lucky, and I, I was able to, um. I was able to uh, get the one that looked a bit more like the costume. I, I mean, it, it wasn't great, but uh, <laughs> yeah. but it was it was they, better. They, it was better than great. like the giant <laughs> Ghostbusters logo on the chest. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we better dive in to the challenge entries here. So we are going to let's see. We're not going to start with thirteen and over. Hold on, just a moment. We're going to start. Oh, here's something important that I need to explain to everyone. This time I decided to split up the challenge entries. I don't know if I'm going to do this in the future, um, but we're doing it this time. And uh, basically on the form, I have a thing that says like, I'm an adult entering a build for a child or like I'm 13 and over or I'm an adult entering for myself. So basically it's like, it kind of is the, Pretty much everywhere on the internet, the break off is like 12 and under and then 13 and over. So that's kind of how I operate my, my challenge. And I've never done it separate. I've never judged them separately before. But this time we're going to try judging them separately. And of course, as usual, if we don't talk about your challenge, uh, if we don't talk about your challenge entry, um, you know, in the discussion part of this video, it will be featured in the slideshow toward the end of the video while we are deliberating about a winner. And Holly and Richard and Flynn, we actually have to pick winners. So maybe um, I, we didn't work this out before. While while they're watching the slideshow. While, the, while they're watching the slideshow, the music is going to be playing, so we're not going to be able to talk to each other in here. Can we, like, do a little, like, Facebook, like, video or a call or something real quick? And yeah. we've got, we'll have about three minutes to make a decision. <laughs> okay. All right. It's going to be great. Here we go. This is the 12 and under category. So first up in the 12 and under category, we have <laughs> Kyle M. built Need a Leg. And uh, this one made it into the discussion just because I thought the uh, the title was was hilarious. Yeah, we <laughs> got a big pirate there getting a leg from an Ninjago skeleton in a graveyard. <laughs> do, do one, we get to, wait, do we get uh, age information? Like, do we get to know how old they are? I don't. I didn't ask that information, unfortunately. Like, okay. I only know that like this is the thirteen and under category. Okay. Uh, and uh, and later we'll talk about the the uh, adult category, okay. I guess. <laughs> uh, next up, this one is from. Oh no! What? Luca A. Taking notes. Ooh. Luca a. Yeah, feel free to take notes. You're gonna have to tell me what you want. No oh, shoot. What you want to vote for in the end? This is Luca A. And um, I thought that the. Uh, I think this is, a, this is a nice little haunted house. Is I this... love it. I love the like the black and white vibe to it. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, like I like the back. I, I like the backdrop. I know, like a lot of times when you Photoshop things like three dimensional models onto a flat photo, um, it sometimes the perspective doesn't quite work. But this one does. <laughs> like the perspective on it all seems to work out nicely. Very nice. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, so there's Luca A, Spooky Haunted House. Um, next up, this one is uh, this one is from David. Kids dressed as 501st Troopers go trick or treating, and <laughs> this one this one almost went in the slideshow. But the reason I wanted to talk about it is because the 501st Troopers with the kid legs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. In in that the lady at the door giving away the trick or treats is like Padme, right? Yeah. Or yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Next up, this is uh, from Brad Skeleton Boone in a ghost <laughs> story. <laughs> very good. Very good. It's pretty clever. Uh, the the way they did the glasses. Look at that. Yeah, the glasses yeah. are really cool, and I like the um, the tr the little tree with the scary faces. Is yeah, the cool. little mixel uh, mixel tiles there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the glasses is probably my favorite piece of this. Oh no, Boone, yeah. you got stuff living in your beard. Yeah, there's certainly spiders in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> this one, um, this is from Griffin, the Griffster Halloween Haunted Pool Party. And I got to tell you, there were a lot of entries from people who did like a party with a ton of dressed up minifigures. And cool. so... They didn't all make it into the discussion, but but the reason I wanted to pick this one is because I feel like it's a really great combination of, <laughs> of, of, of minifigures that look like they're Halloween-ish and minifigures that are just characters that are often used as Halloween costumes. Yeah. Um, so there was Boba Fett was in the first one. Yeah. Uh, we've got like Sasquatch is about to go down the slide here. <laughs> the wolf in grandma's a, clothing. And that is a, some kind of drop off that slide. Let me yeah, tell you. I know, right? <laughs> that's, my kind of, that's my kind of party right there. There's like turtles. I just love, there's like, uh, oh, sorry. There's turtles in the, yeah. in the pool. Yeah. We got, uh, Why not? Pascal is in the pool. Yes. And then pay that's attention that's to this true. yellow thing here because, uh, I think, oh, how do I get, there we go. Pay attention to that yellow thing, because I think it's like one of those things you see at like a wa amusement water parks where you can like blast people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. anyway. Bonus points for Maleficent, yes. Yeah, we got Maleficent in there. There's, I see Voldemort and Voldemort. Harry Potter and. Like mentors. Yes, I said, and there was a Death Eater in the pool. Yeah. Well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I like the that they put orange in the pool and with the purple on the costumes, it feels very sort of Halloween villainy. Yeah. That's fun. Nice. The next one is uh, a functional build. This is from Marcel. Marcel built the Halloween Skittles vending machine. Skittles. <laughs> Skittles. So That's there's some orange name, in there. <laughs> And uh, and I just I felt like you know it's kind of a it's kind of a wild build, but they made excellent use of the parts that they had in very Halloweenish that's, colors. That's awesome. And is that's it verified great. like functioning? Well, um, I just see that there's. I mean, they, they said it's actually it's it is functioning, right? Yep. Yeah. So you can put the skittles in at the top, and then there's a lever here. And you pull that, and Skittles pop out the bottom. A dispenser. That's awesome. I love that. And, <laughs> and, it, and it's it's got like a it's got a, like a random I want to say like Clone Wars era severed head up here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like some spikes yeah. and flames. Okay. Some of the Star Wars heads from some of those other sets are so creepy. They're great for Halloween. Exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. this uh, the next one is a. a there, Another very common submission was a house with trick-or-treaters outside. Mm -hmm. And so again, again, please hear me say, everyone, your all of your builds were awesome. Everyone should be proud of your what you built and what you submitted. They're all super fun and super Halloween-ish. Unfortunately, I just we don't have time to talk about all of them. Some of them are going to be in the slideshow near the end of the video. Um, but they were all wonderful. You should all be proud. But uh, the house with trick-or-treaters outside was a common theme. And so we'll see a couple of them, and we'll see a lot of them in the slideshow. And the next one I felt like is uh, is really pretty interesting. It's a, a decent-looking house and trick-or-treaters. Wow. Wow. And, and then there's this big skeleton. That's really creepy. That's scary. <laughs> I love the smoke coming out of the chimney, too. Yeah, those right? are awesome for smoke. This, this reminds me of the Otakura from, from Kubo. If you guys have seen Kubo and the Two Strings, there's the big, giant, oversized skeleton in that movie. Yeah. 
really and i like the use the hinges like the pieces they used on it were was yeah. Yeah. i just lost my powerpoint um so let's uh let's take just a moment for uh engaging people in the chat hey there rick brickham is here legomatic is here remy baker thank you all so much for joining us um, oh, he said it was the home depot 20 foot skeleton <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. One of those big inflatable that, that just that just got up and decided to go trick or treating with all the kids. Yeah, why not? Why yeah, that was, that was Paul Hetherington's house. Yeah, so, um... <laughs> I'm gonna go to a Halloween party at his place. Yeah, super right. powerful. It'll be. Why am I talking like Yoda? Uh. I'm close here. I'm close. All right. You're pretty good. I got a couple of favorites so far. Let's see. Let's see if good. I yeah. Here we go. So here is uh, the next one from that build uh, right here. And I just thought like that skeleton, like it's simple, but it's good and creepy and yeah, it's great. Yeah, I like it. really interesting to me is those, those uh, clip and bars at his hips. Like when you look at it from the front, even the shape of that looks like the top of a, of a bone. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, like the ball hinge with the clips yeah. and yeah. then the stick and the clips. Yeah, because they use a different color. They use the gray mm -hmm. uh, clip to the white bar. And so the white, so that top of that just looks like the shape of the top where the bone connects. Yeah, I don't know if it's so, intentional or not, but that's pretty yeah. cool. Yep. The so that is. Hands on the hands are nice too. Yeah, yeah. for the for fingers on the one it's, side. It's a bigger, bigger like trick or treat pail though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe he's holding That's, it for his kid. Is, there should be like a little baby, like a little junior skeleton in there. <laughs> oh yeah, in the pot. Mm -hmm. nice or like in the, in the little group of group of kids there. It'd be like, you know. It's great. And I love that it's lit from the inside. And of course, yeah. sand green and brown, classic. Looks like, a, looks like a micro haunted house almost. Yeah, yeah. like the monster fighters, yep. Yep. They so did that's a... Uh, Sorry, I just I don't think I think with the with the mix up with PowerPoint, I don't think I had said the creator. That's Connor K sent the spooky lineup. And someone in the chat asked if we're still in kids. Yeah, we are still in uh 12 and under. So you will see uh the break. I'll, I'll there'll be a slide for the break between 12 and under and 13 and over. All right, next up, this is one of our um one of our regular viewers, let me see if I had the notes in here. Where did I put the notes? Yes, this is from Orange Bricks. Oh, the yeah. 19, Orange yeah. Bricks built the 1955 Bat Train. And uh, this one just really from me got, well, points for being Batman and got points for functionality. Yep. And, yep. and, and this picture here where you see Batman has a, a laptop in the cockpit. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Joker is is, hiding is, out. is peeping out from that's, under the that's great <laughs> firewall there. That's very that clever. is awesome. And I thought the uh, the next image is great because it just it's a still image, but it Wait. shows the speed of the train. So and thank you. Incorporated the infrared control with it. Yep. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I. I do love the Batman, so that that gets brownie points with me too. Okay, the next one. I have nothing to say about it in advance. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very popular subject. In this, uh, in yeah. This particular. It's a, it's a boon. It's a brick built. A plate. A plate built boon face. <laughs> but it's not just a face. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a wearable <laughs> face. <laughs> so this is from Eli E. And if that wasn't enough, he titled this Boo. <laughs> B-O-O apostrophe N-E. Well, and I love that the plant behind him is giving this whole sort yeah. of like yeah. hair like thing. crazy. Is that what that is? I thought that was something maybe he was wearing. I couldn't figure out if it was like part of the costume. I think it's a plant behind him. Okay. Uh, I think it's just the plant behind him. Okay. Either yeah. way, it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brickanista oh, wow. says this is so amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
I wonder, right. if, like, I wonder if, you know, my curiosity, like if he goes, if he went trick or treating in that, would people recognize him? <laughs> <laughs> like one, one in every 10, like every 10th house, they would yeah. be like, oh, it's Boone made out of Lego. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that's like most of my costumes anyway. <laughs> All right, next up we have from Lydia. This is oh. Boone for Treaters. I it's love adorable. it. My favorite part is the train windows for the ghost cost to the uh -huh. hole. You can see the eyes behind the holes. Exactly. I love anything that, you, that has um, dimensionality. And it would have been really easy just to do a flat brick with a with a snot piece and put eyes on it. Um, and I, I just think this is that's super clever. Not and it's sort cool. of emphasized by you know you get the sense with the I'm gonna is I'm gonna call that a cat character on the right. Do we think that's a cat or maybe a yeah that was like yeah. a cat yeah. Cat I'm gonna I'm gonna say with the cat character you get a sense for the dimension like the depth of this character's head right yeah on the cat yeah. person yeah and then on the ghost it's it's like an extra dimension right because yeah. the ghost cloak or ghost sheet is on the outside of the head. <laughs> yeah. The train windows are really why this was a fast track to the uh, discussion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. This one starts out. This is uh, from Barrett P. It's called Halloween Surprise. <laughs> and um, there, we got oh, some Halloween-ish. Uh -oh. There's a crank. What's gonna happen? The turn crank the crank. Cool. I think it's a good, it's a nice little pumpkin. And then yeah, you turn yeah. the crank, and there's a ghost. <laughs> oh, the that's great. That's great. So very cute. Um, Barrett P with Halloween surprise. This is uh, from London R, the Halloween store display. I and love I'm gonna, this. Yeah. That's... Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, so, I love anything with lots of little things in it. Like it's that's my jam, and this is so great. And the detail, like the price on the graves, the, like the gravestone, is hilarious. It's the price um, on the gravestone, price on the shell. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really quite clever. And does it say spooky on the book yeah, in the, the in the? Yeah. 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 Spooky stories or spooky tales, I think it is. Yep, down in the cauldron. And the use of the technic, uh, bricks as the wall on the back is great with the little holes in it and stuff. Yeah, it's almost like the way a store display would work with like pegboards and you can put the yeah, thing in yeah. places. Exactly. This is uh, from the top. If you liked the... <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. If you <laughs> liked the... Uh, I love a, the, hat is, the hat is the most expensive thing in the store. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I think it's like one of, like we were just saying, one of those giant inflatable things you can put oh. in the front of your yard. Or yeah, it's so cool. a thing that you yeah. walk by it and then it like, yeah. uh -huh. and you hear it over and over while you're shopping. Yeah, the yeah. Store. they just need they just need a little step here pile. Yeah, <laughs> that's so great. I mm -hmm. and I love the um like the picture of the candy too is really fun. Mm -hmm. I want like an irregular base too. All that gray yeah. angled plate work around the outside is cool. Very nice. Oh yeah, I'll go back to that. Um, this is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's you know, so interesting. yeah. It's, it's just something more interesting than the edge of a base plate, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, Monica Berry says maybe it's the price for the whole costume. Oh, just wait, everybody. Well, just I think wait. it's a display. <laughs> Yeah, or and maybe yeah. it's a big display. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next up, uh, this is from so that was London R with Halloween store display. This is Charlie R, and I I think that London and Charlie are probably siblings. Mm. And and there is one reason that I had to bring this one to the discussion. Is it because of Yoda? It is the kid in the baby yeah. Yoda, or it's not yeah. baby, it's just a Yoda. It's just the Yoda. Kid in the yeah. Yoda costume. Yeah. Yoda well, could have been it. standing there, and we wouldn't have known if it was Yoda or someone dressed as Yoda. But just that simple, yeah. you know, popping the Yoda head on top of the minifigure head, I yeah. just I thought that was brilliant. When the arms up makes him look like he's 
popping it off. It's really, it's very Yeah, pulling his mask up, because we all know kids won't wear those masks for more than like five minutes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and I love, I love that there's a kid in the cactus costume, and some of these people look a little bit concerned because uh, this guy has, uh, is using and pirate's ore as a shovel there, and they are about to unearth Oh, oh no. no! A skeleton from the graveyard. Well, the guy in the tree back there is kind of freaking me out too. Yeah, what? the guy in the tree. Oh yeah, the guy in the tree. Yeah. Well, the thing I love about the cactus costume it just reminds me of when I was a kid. Like there was always one kid whose mom always made really amazing costumes, except for they were really difficult to move in. <laughs> and so they were like, it yeah. looked great, but like, it's like walking around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next one, um, I think I needs a little bit of preface because I think that the the submission is just sort of the thing in the very center of the picture, but I feel like everything around it is noteworthy. Okay. Here it okay. is. This is from Drake B. It's called Cat Ninja. <laughs> and, and the cat ninja is there. It is a it is Drake's original creation, but it is surrounded by all of these wonderfully spooky official Lego sets. And yeah, it's, it's totally in Halloween Town. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I just so thought that was it's like a like a statue, right? Yeah, it looks like a statue to me. It's got this whole pedestal at the bottom, and then we've got a cat and a ninja mask. Cat Ninja by Drake. Drake. Thanks, Drake. <laughs> uh, this one is cool. This one is called, this is from Breda or Breda. Breda, oh, yeah. what is her name? Sounds yeah. like Crown of Costumes. Well, look at that sun. Wow. Yeah, that oh. sun is pretty genius. Look at the hands. What? Uh, a full on crown. Yes, and I and yeah. That, what? That is awesome. So what? That gets, yeah. So the crown, that, crown of costumes, pretty legit. It's got let's see, four, uh, eight different costume like mini vignettes, and they are actually built into a wearable piece. Holy smokes! Wow. That's really great. Good job, Bretta. How fun. You, uh, that's really within the... Well, I won't make any more comments. No. All right. Next up. <laughs> next up, we have Isaiah A. Now, this one is a bit of a progression. We've got Isaiah A's Sig Fig. Okay. And then what Isaiah calls his Mega Fig. Wow. That is a okay. lot of sideways building there. All right. And then they both get a banana <laughs> costume... <laughs> <laughs> because of course they do. Oh yeah. wow! And oh, Isaiah goodness. also is wearing a banana costume. <laughs> That's so wow. Amazing. That is like meta, meta, meta. Wow. And, um, I'm gonna guess that Isaiah is a very tall 12 year old because he's he looks very tall. As the I, door. I gotta Indeed. say, I enjoyed peeling the layers back on that one. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> did there. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's called Isaiah A. Mega Fig Sig Fig Banana Costume. It's like Banana Costume Inception, if you'll allow me the uh, stretch of the term there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has a this lot. one, this one, like many of the like Halloween party scenes that are just like some of them are really busy and they're super awesome and they have a lot of fun characters in them, but a lot of them ended up in the slideshow because. There's just not, it's hard to grab on to any one thing to talk about. But this yeah. one is called, this one's from Landon S. And it's called Costume Making in the Basement. Oh, it's oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the more I looked at it, the more I'm like, oh, yes, look, he's got like little tools there with the pig. The, yep. the the bang, the firework isn't even a person. It's just a costume mm -hmm. like sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Bear guy's got his head off. We got this lady's using scissors on the lion head. Now, is that lion head an official piece? It's yes, yeah, from the new Harry love, Potter CMS. It's Lula Lovegood's uh, lion hat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I want to know, 
where that tile in the back that has the um, constellations on it. Oh like, yeah. Where did that come That's from? From a friend's set, I believe. That's really cool. I think it's a stick. Oh. I think I'm pretty sure it's a sticker, but a stickered That's piece. Right. But I think it's from one of the um, like Olivia, one of Olivia's. Yeah. Or something like that. One of one of those sets. So Boone, you make a really good point. I think um, I think it's all fine. I mean, I think it's fine to put a bunch of minifigures in a in a piece, and you can absolutely do that and make like a party out of it and and whatever. But what really um, storytelling in in these models is all about the um, telling the audience where to look, right? Like we want to know where am I supposed to be looking in this, and by including multiple little stories, that's how you can create mm -hmm. focus in um, a larger piece that has lots of minifigures in it. Because um, if you just put them out randomly, it makes it hard for anybody to know what to look at. But And yeah, so I'm a big, big proponent of little stories in your builds. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's some pro advice there, people. Um, that's, why, <laughs> that's why I, that's why I call in the, the big favors for, uh, for these challenge, <laughs> these challenge reviews. And the last picture of this one, I got one more picture to share. The last picture makes me feel like it might be the uh, Fox Lego Masters working on their costumes. Oh, over here, so good. Over here, we got uh, like Amy and Crystal, right? Yes. In the middle here, we've got Aaron Christian. Okay. Yes. And then this guy, I don't know who this is, but he's somebody. You know, I'm, just, I'm sure. I'm sure that all of these. These these are probably Landon and his friends, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it reminded me of Lego Masters. Well, I love, I, th this is, yeah, this is a fantastic one. And this is Landon, you said? Yeah, this is Landon, Landon S. Okay, I next up. Landon has a fun family. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next up, this is from Ritter. It's the Haunted Hayride and Concert. <laughs> <laughs> lights. We've got lights, people. Yeah, right. there's lights in here. So check this out. So we'll zoom in on here. I don't know what is creating the lights inside inside mm. the pieces. Is that is that a is that like a headpiece? The the that, yeah yeah, yeah. The, that goes over there. a mini a standard mini fig head. Yeah, so it's like from, a trans orange head in there probably. It's from the Scooby Doo uh, one of the Scooby Doo sets that was the okay. headless horseman's head. Yeah. And then um, this is so funny because you can see it's like. There's a girl. She's just having a great old time on the hayride. We've got, I'm assuming, someone dressed up as Spider-Man. Yes. Then the zombie and the mummy kind of look like real monsters creeping <laughs> up behind. Although I have to say, I happen to know that that zombie head is is um, from a uh, Scooby-Doo set, and it actually has yeah. a closure on the back yes. of it. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. a mask. I mean, just a really good mask. Looking at the picture, I just happen to know because yeah. we used that in a piece uh, before. That's so funny. Yeah, that's from that's the. Awesome. Uh, it's from the Scooby Doo light. Is it a lighthouse or something? Maybe? No, it's the tree one. It's the one with the big tree. Oh, right, right. Yeah, because yeah, all, all, the, all the Scooby Doo. That's the fun thing about all the Scooby Doo villains is they all have that seam. Yeah, that on the back of their heads. Yep. So, oh, this is a, cool. yeah, this is a concert. It's a little bit blurry, but I think that's actually one of the effective things about this picture is you've got, you know, the, the sharp focus on the front, the characters in the front. Hey, there it is. Holly's got the, uh, the pumpkin, got head. That pumpkin yeah. head. I'm going to solo layout you so people can there see it. There, there yeah. it is. Nice. It's nice awesome. To go over the minifig heads. Yep. Okay. Um, and, but I zoomed in here because I love this little um, the this bat little pumpkin with the thing, and I feel oh. like I feel like I've seen that. Is that from something? It's a. Uh, it was one of the little or one of those little ornaments you can get at the Lego store. There's a bat and a pumpkin. Okay. Uh, uh, and I don't know if this is. I know that the sticker tile is from that. I don't know if that's the exact build. Um, but I really love this cloud on the clear on the clear arm with the bat in front of it is very clever. And it also, it's dimensional and yeah, that's yeah. great. And I just absolutely love the pink <laughs> classic space 
yes. figure with with a tutu. <laughs> I know. Um, it's so good. Yeah. I love it. Oh, okay. All right. So thank you. That was River Haunted Hayride in concert. That was the end of the um under uh, the the twelve and under category. So now we are moving into the thirteen and over category. Are you ready? Oh ready. yeah. Let's Ready. see what we got going on. Hey, Dave Morgan is here. Jeff McBoe is here. Fabu fan MKE MKE is here. Wow, this is like the cast list of our of our morning show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, overlap between oh, our audiences. Hi, Trick Mug. Hi, Muggers. Ahoy, hoy. Here we go. This is from Paul D. Oh, um, this is Willie's wow. Wild Wardrobe and Costume Shop. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love, love, love the colors. Please say there's an interior. <laughs> I There's definitely stuff inside, but I don't remember seeing a picture. Oh, I love it. They've got the piece on the corner there from the Scarecrow uh, helicopter there, the pumpkin on it. So isn't that on the right side? Oh, that, here? hanging off the corner. I think that's the monster fight. Oh, that one. Okay, I was say the that's monster fight ghost that's train that. is on the left. Or top, your left, I guess. Oh, up, oh, up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Isn't that from a scarecrow set? Batman scarecrow. It is. Yeah. It is the scarecrow's like. Yeah, what a good thing. Nice. Yeah, and the, pa the plate striping and those little statues flanking the entry door are nice. Too. I also really love those window treatments. Uh, they're really, it's really yeah, fun. This is pretty, you know, what's pretty incredible about this is they actually used a lot of different colors. Yes. They have all really clashed, but they used just the right amount, you know, mm -hmm. to accent that it all works really well together. Well, purple and lime green is like classic 60s monster mm -hmm. match. Like, oh, wow, there's like a whole nother part. Yeah. Oh, look at the little pumpkin, like, entrance doorway there. Or window, what? whatever that, that is. That giant pumpkin is or Ooh, like pumpkin so skull or something. What is that purple fence? That, what is that, is that Lego? It's know. really beautiful. It's I think that's Lego. Amazing. Maybe it's, um... Yeah, what's the purple fence from? We'd I'd love to know. Surprised. I'd be this surprised. Is, Paul D. is Paul in the uh, is Paul in the live chat? It's kind of a spidery fence. Yeah, it's got yeah. like spider stuff. It's so cool. I love the. I mean, I love it. I just I'm curious if it's Lego because I have to have it. Uh, oh, have it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick search and see if I come up with anything. I, my money is oh, on that's not like in the chat saying bricks are bricks, darn it, which is making me think maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Oh, you know, he says, no, it's mega blocks. Okay. Okay. That is suspicious. All right. All right so maybe one, there you go. but yeah, there's sure. a lot of people to go around. <laughs> well, it fits right in. Yeah. I mean, it fits in any, and anyway, I was just curious because yeah. I really want it. Um, But I Literally. love um, all of the detail in it. The, the scarecrow. Oh, it look is that a piece of cloth that's used around the scarecrow? Because that yeah, it like has a like a um, it has screen. like a tattered it has like a tattered cape from um maybe maybe Lord of the Rings or maybe Star Wars some character with a kind of a tattered cape. Kind of looks like a Dementor oh, cape. From here. I, I just realized. Oh, too, a Dementor cape. Yeah, I think so. If you look in the in the cent oh, can you go back? Yeah. If you look in the uh, see where Beetlejuice is. Yeah, that is a recreation of Beetlejuice's gravestone with the the pointing skeleton that's here that says "Here lies Beetlejuice" on a sign. I'm pretty sure that's what that Ooh, is, right? Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and then, um, the and this snakes too from yeah, Beetlejuice. The, the sand, yeah, the sandworm thing. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. That's from uh, Dimensions. Awesome. And then this is the other side. So the the. You sort of see the yard there, and mm -hmm. the the other side of the building is these sort of I don't know mystery machine-ish colors. Yeah, I love the faces, all like the big faces all the way around the skull. What is, what is on the purple sign? Is that like a is that a a face like a profile? Looks like a silhouette. Looks yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Cool. Thanks, Paul D. And the cat. Oh, look at the cat. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
Sorry, I know it's so good. I wanted to keep oh, it. Going. So, so this one, this was another that almost went to the slideshow. Uh, but when I read it's Garfield escapes the pirate ghost. So this is from the old Garfield <laughs> Halloween special. And as soon as I read the, uh, the title, all of it came flooding back to me. And so the fact that he's got the ghosts there and they're flying through the air and it's like a pirate ghost. And, and then he's, he's chosen, uh, you know, a couple, this is from Robert Z. Yes. I he's, he's chosen a couple of friends. I guess a, there's like a normal minifigure cat there mm -hmm. in, in a kind of a dark orange and a, a friend's dog. So we got Garfield and Odie. Uh, so I just, I had to put that one in because. Is that, and is of that course, like gum on their head? <laughs> You like a little, little, little something to hold the hats on. Oh, like, <laughs> and of course, you know, I got. I have to mention this every time there's an like orange cat in here. Is, is that I love in the Lego Movie Two has the orange cat with a mohawk whose name is Scarfield, and it just makes me laugh every time. Yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> Scarfield. All right. All right. The next one is really something. And the, the creator, the creator is with us in the live chat tonight. From Monica B. Whoa! Wearable wow. Creations Space Queen. Wow! Wow! So she has like a um this whatever you would call this piece, kind of a big necklace piece, but it then is attached to the back, and it's either like a space cape or a space like backpack right there's the mask the kind of halo piece the crown piece i guess it is space queen right so it's a crown yeah. piece and the hair tie yeah. has it's some been. sort of space person in it it's Benny. Been, it's disco benny yeah <laughs> disco benny yeah, yeah. This this makes me think of um of Crystal and Amy yeah. and their um their thing that they made for Brickmaster Amy and they had their their matching ones with their crowns and everything. This is great. And I love the piece that is in the center of the crown is a favorite piece of mine. It's like one of my new favorite pieces. One of those splats. So yeah, those splats. Mm -hmm. um, big blue fountain. It's so good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great piece. Yeah, how, new, how new is that? Here, I'll uh, zoom in. I, now I can't remember what... what they're, can, they're in a lot of like superhero Yeah, sets. they're in the superhero sets. And then they come and they're one of those pieces that comes in a little plastic bag with a bunch of other like transparent blue splat pieces. Yeah, they usually come in either like the transparent blue like that orange or like that kind of trans green colors is usually what you get the splats in. Yeah, yeah. Right. Monica... The the creator of this says Avengers. Very so, good. Hey, Monica. Monica, good Monica this, is, this is awesome. And she coordinated her makeup. Oh, and I too. love those little coordinated uh, makeup. She also has the bracelet. Some, yeah, the dots bracelet. Nice. Dots bracelet on there. And there's a closer look at that back piece. All right. So, so, so Monica, is that is that like a is that like a back plate or is it a cape? Maybe she'll tell us. She says, thanks, all blushing. Let's see. Did she answer me earlier? Good. <laughs> Full on Lego Halloween costume. I hope Monica, I Mary, it's me. Monica, we'd love to know what is it a cape? Is it open to interpretation? Got it. Okay. Okay. Open to interpretation. Easy answer. <laughs> all right. There we go. Well, it's a it's, uh, nice design, very spacey. Love it. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Monica. Cool. This next one is pretty straightforward, but I had to put it in. It is from uh, Potato Studios, <laughs> the Ghostbusters logo mosaic. Very nice. nice. There it Very is. Nice. It's Classic. pretty much what, pretty much what the front of my costume looked like. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Potato Studios. I love it. You actually make me want to rebuild that. Um, if I ever do, I will certainly give you credit. That's awesome. That'd be, that would be like a fun thing to have on have on the wall. You know, yeah. Willie Ball says, "Who are you gonna call?" Uh, the Gotham Knight says, "Oh, somewhere." The Gotham Knight asked how to enter or how to send a picture. You just gotta enter future challenges. So watch here on Boone Builds. Just click subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on future live streams, video mm -hmm. uploads, and build challenges. 
I can tell you right now, I don't know exactly when my next build challenge will be, but I will definitely have one for the wintry Christmassy season. Um, so look forward to that. Next up from another one of our uh, quite, quite regular live chat participants. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. This is Legomatic. So uh, Legomatic has built, this is um, the Iron Man gauntlet. Yep. And I think one of the coolest things about this is the lighted palm. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice. Very that good. Man, it's, um, that's pretty crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of articulation, and I I don't know. It's it's hard to tell for sure. Maybe if Legomatic is here, maybe uh, you could tell us in the chat. But judging by this cord, I'm thinking maybe that could be an official Lego light. But but it's hard for me to tell. Like a power function. Yeah, it's got a thick cord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, although I think the lights have a slightly thicker one. Maybe. I'm not sure. Do they? Yeah. They're a little Maybe. more ribboning, aren't they? Yeah. You're right. Well, oh, it's really effective. But it's really great. That's That's very a, cool. Yeah. I'd love to see this. Like, I want to see this animated, you know? Yeah. Lots of good clip and bar work there, too. Cool. And sound effects. Yeah. Oh, it's from Power Functions, he says. Oh, cool. Okay. Power Functions. Awesome. awesome. Extra points for official Lego lighting. Exactly. Now, yeah. now um, Moto says, this is great. This is great. Um, and it is great. <laughs> but the thing coming up next is really great. And I only have one picture of it, but I've seen more and even video today. It is Moto's oh. cat mask. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now, uh, well, um, that's, I. what can I say about this? I saw a picture of someone who might be Moto wearing this. Yeah, yeah. we actually saw this in action being... Yeah, we slide. So, so, so um, I want to I want to kind of send people Moto's direction if I can here. So let me see if I can. What is, it's called? Sir meows a lot, right? Meows a lot. Yeah, it's, let me it's see so if funny. I can find it. Like you don't really get the the scale of this without like the human head. Factor. No, no, I yeah, and it's I'm just trying to figure out uh, YouTube. I want to go to YouTube. And I'm going to give me just a moment, everyone. Um, Super it three. is Sir Meows a lot. Is that right? Sir Meows a lot. Oh, that's yeah. coming up with. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Sir Meows a lot. And oh, we're, so, we're going to the chat. so, okay. Someone has given us a link in the chat. Great. Thank you very much. Dave Morgan linked you in the chat to. Moto's video. I'm just going to drag this over here real quick. If you want to check out Moto's YouTube channel, it is uh, youtube.com slash user slash M Kanemoto, M K A N E M O T O. And you can get to Moto's site. And here is the video. Is, I don't yeah, know if that. has... huge. Yeah, you can just see if I if yeah. I hover over that, you can see it, it's enormous. It fits yeah. over the top of his head. Oh, I love and it. And I'm not going to click on that because I want you all to go check it out sometime. Not right now. Don't go now. I love it so um, much. It's so good. But uh, there you go. Moto, man, I am just extra impressed with this thing. Um, it, and it ends up, I think this is a picture that he submitted. This is how far he had come during, you know, before the end of my challenge submission. And it's gotten even more interesting since yeah. the picture. Because yeah. it now has whiskers and it maybe yeah. has some different things going on in the ears. Well, when you see it from the from the backside, it's this wonder of symmetry too. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if um I wonder if you can like if they can if they can if you can make the wolf head like a wearable and then like you know, make his kid could maybe wear the cat and he could wear the wolf head and wow. play out well, something really twisted. <laughs> really cool. I've heard I've heard people ask Moto if the wolf head could be wearable. And he yeah. said that it, it would have to be completely redesigned. Yeah, completely redesigned so, for sure. So part of me wonders if Sir Meows a lot was not, you know, an answer to that challenge, right? Like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Make something wearable. 
Okay, yeah, it's awesome. a pretty good prototype. It's, I'm excited to see what's next. He's Great such job. a good sculptor. Great yeah. job, Moto. Love it. All right. Um, here we have from Lyra TN. <laughs> Calls this Unikitty, a tree and a chicken go into the woods. Will they come out? <laughs> and the first thing the first thing I fell in love with with this build is the fact that the Unikitty head is on a minifigure body. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, it's brilliant. Yeah. And then I flipped to the second picture <laughs> and we've got a, someone dressed up as a tree. <laughs> That's awesome. So there you go. Thank you, Lyra. Next up, this one is called uh, Rise of the Pumpkin Spiders from Chris. Wow. Chris called Rise oh, of the Pumpkin yeah. Spiders. And um, got <laughs> some it. nice... I love the little building. It's just a nice, you know... Yeah, I like the variety of pumpkin heads as well. Yeah. yeah. That's from a, lots of different places there. Excellent cool pumpkin scarecrow. Patch. What is that? So that's an excellent pumpkin patch. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is. The tree is nice, and there's functionality, play yeah. features. I was going to say, it looked like there was an e exit grave <laughs> here. There's yeah. so a road grave here. Exit. Exit oh, grave yeah. here. I need the, I need the, uh, I need a sign like that for my house. <laughs> exit <laughs> grave here. Yeah. Yeah. This is like such a throwback to our youth, you know, like, well, at least for me and Boone, I know some of the sets that we built when we were kids, like all those castles and stuff always had, you know, like some kind of trap door. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it was like, and that was, you know, that was brilliant. You're like, oh man, didn't see that coming. Yeah. The hidden, <laughs> the hidden side uh, castle uh, or uh, ca mystery castle has one as well. A trap door right inside the front door. Diabolical. As it should. As it should. And the envious of the black sprouts, too. Yeah, those blacks. I need lots of those. Yeah. There we go. All right. This next one um, was built by uh, a family, but it was entered as an adult. So this is dad. Uh, Mitch, Whoa. Fanti, Logan, and Austin. Wow. Built. This is called Ghost Bustin' at the Creepy Carnival. So this is this to me. This looks like a combination of official sets and uh, mm -hmm. original creations. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, and what I want to know is this thing in the middle here mm -hmm. that looks like a. It looks like the kind of thing where it would like slide up the roller coaster track and like split that thing open. Is that from a set? It's, it's hidden inside. It's hidden yeah. side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, yeah, they, I, this is a pirate roller coaster in there. Yep. Um, yeah. And it I, totally has like a Legoland quality to it. It does. Yep. And yeah, yeah I, we just built that hidden side lighthouse. Oh, look. And they put the same figure. Oh, that's on so ours. funny. At the last second, we built that lighthouse and I grabbed that figure from our collection and they've <laughs> the same <laughs> one. That's great. Is it, oh, the yeah. banshee up on top? Yeah. 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 How funny. And then this is uh this is them <laughs> as the Ghostbusters. So mom, dad, and two boys. Oh my god, I love it. Just it's Ghostbusters. So and I love the the little kid's face is just perfect. It's so good. Oh, well, what's on the front of the camera? What's that supposed to be? You see mom's holding the, yeah. holding the camera. A light, uh, a light maybe? maybe? Yeah, maybe a, a flat like a extended yeah or something yep well is she they're all ghostbusters right? yeah but i love they all have their other little extra props is yeah, yeah so they each have right so there's like the ghost yeah they actually the only one of those props that's a ghostbusters prop is a ghost trap yeah that mitch is holding and he's also holding a sausage of course uh, and uh and then here's an aerial view of the entire layout. Oh, look, they've got like some of those old, those old printed bla uh -huh. base plates. Yeah, from, uh, yeah, one. That's really pretty. I noticed the one in the front with the shoreline on it, and then there's the, a uh -huh. Paradiso one, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. That aqua the one is really cool. Oh, how yeah. fun. I love it. They just, they just went like 
super, you know, not just scary, but just super, super fun with this. Like this is yeah. the park I want to, I want to be at right now. And they all blend in really well together. Like uh -huh. you know, it, it all works nicely together. Yep. Cool. Good job, Mitch and family. Thank you for submitting. Next up, this one. I like this one. This one. Oh, oh. my notes. What is this called? I think this is called the Headless Hulkbuster. Huh. You're right. So this That's is the awesome. headless, the headless Hulkbuster, and um, it, this is from uh, Avernus <laughs> Workshop. Avernus Workshop, oh, yeah. the headless Hulkbuster. Very nice. I feel like he should be holding the head. <laughs> yeah, holding the head in one of the pictures. Uh -huh. That's great. I love it. Flames, flames coming off of it. And yeah, then a lot of snot work on it. Yeah, it's really interesting. What an interesting shape. Yeah. Cool. All right, and this one, uh, oh, this is wow. from Jeremy R. This is called Hallowed Night, and it uses the head from like the the Harry Potter giant. Oh yeah. From oh, that's Grop. Grop. Yeah. yeah. All right. What, what's his name? Grop. Grop. G R A W P. Grop. Grop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they've used the head from that, and um, I think that most of this is inspired by the uh, the build of Grop, but it's all color swapped to black, and he's got he's been given this. It, it, the helmet reminds me of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what, isn't that what it's supposed. That's I just assumed that that was what it was supposed to be modeled to look sure. like. Sure. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, and a nice big uh, Bionicle Hero Factory sword there. And a, a cape that I think, a cape that I think must be made from a piece of a T-shirt. Yeah. Or is that? Uh, it looks like a homemade cape. Yeah. 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 There's a little bit of close up. That's awesome. I mean, they probably could have used like a buildable, like a Star Wars buildable fig cape or something, maybe. But I, mm. you know, I, sure, That's why cool. not? Why not a shirt? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is. Ah, uh, that stitching doesn't look. Yeah, that looks like it's like it's. Like human size, yeah. Looks like the, looks like this. Oh, sorry. Looks like the sleeve of a T-shirt. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Um, and Jeremy R did not let the rest of the Grop head uh, body go to waste because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is it's deeply disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of one of the old McDonald's characters, like the hamburger, yeah. not the hamburger, but like Mayor McCheese, you know, with the wide. Yeah, it looks like Mayor McCheese lost the top of his head. <laughs> Mayor Mc open face. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> nice. That's awesome. Like, so, what is that nose piece? Is that is that a? I think, I think it's like a hood? like a like a hood but okay. backward. Yeah. I don't recognize it. I don't know what that's from. That's really clever, though. And hilarious. Right. And I love that they, they look. Those those like bulging eyes get me every time. You can put those oh, on yeah. anything, and it just looks yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be a uh, that would be a great challenge. Just like put the bulbing eyes on anything, and yeah. let's see what's let's see what's the funniest. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's like <laughs> next level. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that is the end of the discussion. So, uh, yeah. if you didn't see, if you didn't see your build, um, you should see it in the slideshow that we're about to show. And Holly and Flynn and Richard and I are gonna go deliberate, and we're gonna pick some winners. We're gonna pick one winner from the. Um, we'll pick one winner from the tw twelve and under category. And we'll pick another winner from the 13 and up category. And we will announce them right here in about three minutes. Stick around and watch this slideshow. And unfortunately, the slideshow got cut in half. So I'm going to have to play it. And then hopefully I'll just be able to get the timing and, and play the second half as soon as it's done. So so hold on. Uh, we'll be right here. And then Holly, Flynn Richard, can we hook up on, on something here? What are we yeah, going to do? Everything. You set it up. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, let's just see if we can, can we, like a video call. Let's try this. See if this works. Okay. All right, here we go, everybody. Um, I hope this one's.
And we're back. There's actually one call for Hey, thank you all so very much for hanging in there. Uh, we oh, have we have our winners. Uh, I'm going to take just another moment to uh, get the slideshow set up to announce the winners. Holly, Flynn, Richard, tell us about how you got into Halloween or any other fun thing that you might like to talk about. Oh my goodness. Well, I used to, um, I mean, part of like what, what, um, feeds my whole Lego thing and my, and I Halloween things, I used to put together plastic monster models when I was a kid. Um, I, there were so many like the, and I had, um, a, uh, like a Frankenstein one that had glow in the dark head and hands and, and you know, what's really rare if you can get your hands on them and they were really cool is they did a series of, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean models. This was like back in the 70s. And they all had play functions. So you they like had rubber bands. They were different from a lot of the other plastic models that like moved uh you could turn cranks and make them do little things. And it was they were so cool. So that was like my my Halloween connection was lots of monster models and lots of monster movies when I was a kid. I would go to the library what <laughs> and watch them. How about you, Holly? Uh, man, I think I think it was like, you know, my family was so kind of low key and conservative. I think I think I was I was I kind of have that like Tim Burton background, you know, where everything was just so like uh, beige and and normal that I ended up like rebelling against all of it and just was a weird kid. I don't know. Um, but I, but yeah, same thing, like the, the movies and stuff that I watch, I just gravitated towards not like horror films. I was never really into horror films or monster movies so much, but you know, and growing up in the eighties, Disney made a lot of like weird kind of creepy live action movies in that era that, mm -hmm. uh, I just found myself gravitating towards. And, um, of course when Nightmare Before Christmas came out, I was obsessed with that and just, <laughs> you know, kind of went through the goth phase and. Um, it was just, it, I didn't have much of a Halloween experience as a kid, but then once I was an adult and out on my own, I found again, just kind of overcompensating for all of it. So, well, and then Holly, you know, my, you, um, you and Richard both know my other story of why I was a creepy kid is because I grew up with a graveyard in my front yard, like literally like <laughs> I could walk out my front door and walk forward. I would walk through a playground and then into a graveyard, which I would pass through to get to my friend's house who lived on the other side of the hedge that I had to crawl under. It was legit. <laughs> just like just like Paranorman, right? Which I don't know if anybody noticed, but I was, this was cracking me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Richard? I have, 
I grew up in the suburbs and everyone moved into our tract of homes all at the same time and all everyone had kids all at the same time and we all did Halloween all together and there was um there was one family down the street and the guy um the dad worked um at a mortuary and everyone was scared of their house they were like super nice wonderful people <laughs> but they knew that and so at halloween they would always have and he was very tall and thin you'd have to go up and like he would have the candy <laughs> right there and you'd have to get it from him like, and it was so scary because your hands just touched a dead body <laughs> well, they, were, they were wonderful <laughs> But he was impossibly tall as well. <laughs> um, and I have a picture from the newspaper, from our local newspaper, when I must have been like seven and my sister was five. And we were, um, the grown ups were carving a jack o' lantern and I was reaching my hand in to pull out the gooey stuff. So I've, I've always loved Halloween. Well, and you also, he um, used to throw epic Halloween parties. And when I say epic, I am oh. in no way like selling it short Whoa. like he used to throw incredible halloween parties that he would spend months preparing That's for true. well I, I work i'm a i'm a theatrical lighting designer right so i have access to lots of movie special effects so we would have fog machines and strobe and and you know i projected for the for the pirate party i projected fire on sails of a pirate ship in my backyard <laughs> and all this stuff i lived in a spooky victorian mansion so i would start in may <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I love it. You all are so wonderful. Thank you so much for helping me with this. Of course. Sure. Hey, Melissa Mayette with a $99.99 super chat. Melissa wow. is the sponsor of tonight's live stream. Thank you very much, Melissa. <laughs> and Scott. Um, we really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so very much. Uh, and here it is. The time has come to do a couple of uh, announcements. Are you ready? Our first runner-up in the 12 and under category. Now, I hope, I really hope I got these in the right order. I'm just, I, I'm, <laughs> the, I'll, the first runner-up is Connor K with the spooky lineup. Yay. Yay. Terrifying skeleton. Now go watch the more, everyone. <laughs> if you like giant skeletons, the second was it second runner. Should I have first said runner, second runner up first? first? That was the second runner up. So the first okay. runner up, first runner up is uh, Isaiah A with Mega Fig Sig Fig banana costume. <laughs> <laughs> Peel back those layers. Oh, and the winner. I just stole Holly's joke. I didn't make that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't the, the winner of the 12 and under category for Boon, the Boone Builds Brick or Treat Challenge 2020, because we need some good things in 2020, is this one. Let me tell you. Hold on. I'm full screen for a second because um, this one just, in my mind, captures the essence of the spirit of this challenge um in a way that most of the builds did not uh and i just i just love it now and, after the commercial break <laughs> <laughs> i know bretta from bretta the crown of costumes yay Bretta, the crown of costumes is the winner for the 12 and under bracket Great so job, Bretta. Um, awesome. I will uh, I will send you a prize, but only if you actually wear this all night of Halloween. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope everybody that actually made wearables will wear them on on Halloween yeah. for at least part of the day. Yeah. At least, at least part of the day. Yeah. Uh, take a take a picture of you wearing it, and you know, <laughs> hopefully, share it to you wherever you share stuff. Hey, this has been a hopping live stream tonight. We've got, there's 135 people watching right now. We had $99 super chat from Melissa. Super awesome. We are about to announce the runners up and the winner of the 12 and over category. All right, here we go. The second runner up. 
Paul D with Willie's Wild Wardrobe and Costume Shop. Yay. Yay. We loved it. Good awesome. job, Paul D. Super awesome creation. Some really wonderful things in there. The first runner up with uh, there listen, wearable features, wearable creations got a lot of extra points in this competition. The people who stuck their neck out into the unknown and and came up with something that you could actually wear <laughs> got certainly got some extra points. This is the first runner up in the 12 and over category or in the 13 and over category. It's Monica B. Congratulations, Monica B. We really loved every piece of your creation. Really captured the spirit of this challenge. And the final winner of 13 and over for Boone Builds Brick or Treat Challenge 2020. <laughs> It is Mono. Yeah. Hey, Congratulations, man. We, I almost argued to not give you the award because you are such a uh, outstanding participant in the Boone Builds community that it almost feels like it almost feels like cheating for me to give you this award, Moto. But the build is just too darn good. Um, we just, we couldn't not give you the challenge. And I think, uh, I, I hope that everyone who submits feels like, uh, a, a valuable part of the community that we're building here. So congratulations, Moto. Congratulations, uh, Bretta. Please, uh, I guess I'll be reaching out to you through my, uh, through, you gave me your email addresses when you made your submissions. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Holly. Oh, I guess I, I had more I want to say about that. Bretta and Moto, I will email you and uh, we will work out a way for me to send you a little prize for winning this season's build challenge. That's great. Richard Flynn, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you. It was great to, to see you and get to hang out. Absolutely. Holly, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Would either of you, would any of you like to share anything about where people should look if they want to find you on the interwebs? Oh, you could do that. Sure. Um, we are on Instagram. Uh, we are Tricky Bricks, uh, all one word. Same thing on YouTube. Our YouTube show is we do uh, 10 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. <laughs> Um, we do weekly build challenges, um, and uh, every Friday we do a similar thing that we're doing here. We do a little slideshow. Uh, so tomorrow we'll be doing our uh, scary movie scene challenge. Uh, will be uh, our final one there, and that's pretty much our. That's us. It's us. Yep. Awesome, Holly. Um, you can often find me over on Tricky Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I hang out with these guys over on the Tricky Bricks on Sundays, and um, I've got the the IG over at H Walkman, W A C H T M A N, um, H Walkman at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, all those things. Oh yeah, that's I'm gonna right. I'm gonna put one of those up. So give me that again. H W A L. No. H W A C H T M A N C H T. Yeah, it, lo it looks like Watchmen, but it's not. It's Walkman. It's like a white Walkman. I had no idea. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There you go. That is the Instagram, and you can find her at that handle at uh, most places. Oh, and I forgot. Sorry, I forgot. We started a Twitch channel too. I've been doing Ooh. afternoon uh, Twitch builds. I just built the. Uh, the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle, which was an incredible build. Justin Ramsden did a, an incredible job. It's such an epic model, but yeah, we're kind of using that as a way to like build our bigger models that we don't really have time to build on our regular show. So uh, yeah, that's a, and that's 
tricky underscore bricks because somebody already had tricky bricks on Twitch. I couldn't believe it. It was like the one place that they didn't that like oh, thank, you, Monica. Monica. thank you, Monica. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very so so very much to Holly, to Flynn, to Richard, to everyone who has watched. Brickanista, Gotham Knight, Moto, Jeff McElwee, Monica Berry, Jake Sadovich, Brick Central, Global Bricks, Wex Bricks, Willie Ball. You are all, I can't say everyone's name, Legomatic. Thanks to everyone who built uh, for this challenge. In the slideshow, um, there I was not able to – I haven't figured out a real slick way to get the names of the creators into the slideshow in a way that is manageable for me. So everyone, if, you're, if your build was in the slideshow, you are more than welcome to uh, comment in the video and, uh, and say, hey, I had the build at, and you can put the time code, or you can say, hey, I built the such and such. And, um, and I appreciate everyone for submitting – and I hope that everyone feels appreciated, uh, even though I, I'm, I'm working on it for the future. I, I know eventually I'll find a slick way to get it to get the slideshow to import all the creators' names. Um, but as of yet, uh, I, I don't have a way of doing that or an assistant who can just spend a whole day doing that. So thank you very much, all of you, for your flexibility. Thank you all for building. Uh, everyone in the chat, give the builders and my guests tonight a big round of applause i want to see those hand emojis um in the live chat you've all been so wonderful thank you melissa for the gracious super chat this evening and until next time everybody this has been boone builds go build something amazing